We didn't get to speak to you at the Birkin Hair premiere, but you worked on oh, Birkin Hair. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that was great fun. That was a whole, whole different kind of fun. Yeah, very silly. Well, John Landis is a, a good friend of ours. So, great. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a wonderful a director, isn't he? My God, I was so excited to work with him and going in for the audition. I just wanted to go like, oh, you know, because he's such a somebody I grew up with, you know. But working with Isla was also really cool. Isla Fisher was great, little spitfire of an actress, and she's got all sorts of ideas, and we had a great time. And you're, you're a, a British actress, uh, yeah, and now British living Scotland. in the States. Yeah, uh, what's, yeah. What's the transition been like for you, and how hard has it been for you as an artist to make it a, a, across the pond? Uh, thanks for asking that. Um, I moved there about eight years ago now, and the last three years I've really spent a lot of time in London working, which has been awesome. Um, coming back to my own culture a bit more. But LA has been very welcoming. It's a kind of a different attitude in the film industry there, where they want to see what can you do rather than what have you done. So that's that kind of American, you know, can-do attitude was really helpful to me at the time that I went over. Um, obviously, it's still loads and loads of competition, and you know, first sort of few months of sending out my resume again and again and again, and nobody was interested. But. It just, you know, you build your way. I think any actor, the best advice I can give is just have absolute faith and keep working as hard as you can and build relationships with people through your work rather than through kind of, you know, going to parties and all that crap. Like, just work hard and you can make Tenacity, it. Tenacity, isn't it? Maybe? Yeah, totally. And, you know, you stick with anything that you believe in long enough and, and do the work to help yourself believe in yourself. And why shouldn't you succeed? And some of the sort of more experienced actors have always said they little they bring. I mean, when I say experienced, I mean they've been yeah, yeah, acting for course, 50 no, years no, 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 um, no. plus. And uh, they, they say that they always bring a little bit of themselves into the part. Yeah. Is that something that you do as well? Draw yeah, upon your experience? Absolutely. I think that's I think that's an actor's art, really, um, to draw on on who you are and to not be afraid to go to the places that do exist inside you that normally don't come out. And that was something that, I mean, if you're not an actor, you know. And that's something that was a great pleasure to do on this film because I'm a total tomboy and I grew up going around my back garden with a stick on my shoulder and my Bugs Bunny on it and thinking I was a hunter, you know? And, um, and now I got to be that girl again, passed through all the time of growing up and, you know, got to look pretty, got to be nice. And I got to just go so deep into, you know what I mean, you're a woman, like, ugh, there's a, there's a part of you that, yeah, that roars and it was so great to get to go there.